Ladies and gentlemen, the moth with the famous skull on its back from Silence of the Lambs. It's real! My name is Bart Coppens and I am an online entomologist who makes videos about insects. And today I am pre pre presenting you a real and live Death's Head Hawk Moth, Acherontia atopos. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, these are Death's Head Hawk Moths. My name is Bart Coppens and I am your favorite online entomologist. And also the reincarnation of Buffalo Bill, as you can see, because I breed Death's Head Hawk Moths in captivity for fun. Because they are actually marvelous, beautiful, awesome and fascinating creatures. And totally harmless, despite their disturbing reputation. And I really just wanted to throw you guys some fun facts about these magnificent and misunderstood animals. Wow. First of all, so why do these moths have a skull-like marking on their back? Does it look like a skull to you? Let me ask you that question first. It kind of does, doesn't it? Well, the reason for that is because the Death's Head Hog Moth has a unique ability. It infiltrates beehives in order to drink and steal the honey from the honeybees. Now, in order to do that, it has to fool the bees and it has several ways of fooling the bees. First of all, there is chemical mimicry. It's said that Death's Head Hog Moths emit a smell that smells like a worker bee. But secondly, they also fool the bees' facial recognition. You see, it's said that bees can recognize each other's faces. And the skull on the back of the Death's Head Hog Moth is actually a bee face. And it helps to prevent the bees from detecting the intruder, because when it's caught, when it's detected, the bees will kill it. They are not welcome. They can also make a squeaky noise, a high-pitched squeak that sounds like a queen worker bee. Sometimes if you handle them, you can hear it, but not always. Don't worry, I don't hurt the moths, I know exactly how I can handle them. This is also a native species to my country, even though it's a vagrant, a migrant species, but still native, so don't worry about them escaping. My moths don't escape in the first place, but if they did, it would not be an ecological disaster. I just wanted to show them off. So beautiful. So powerful. If you want to learn more about insects, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.